You should be safe in the knowledge that what, whatever you do, you, someone will support your decisions. This is kinda fitting to have a typo in this screen. Was the guarding the king's influence, which is no one knows, and there, it isn't written anywhere. The king's influence. I've made a video already, hailing that the, staying that the king is the most important figure you have, obviously. And the influence that is so impactful, and you you don't even realize what's happening. There are so many things which act or part of King's influence, and you think there's random shit happening all over and you have no influence over it. Most of it can be attributed to the king's influence traits. It's like this stat is inherently bugged. It's bugged. At the same time you cannot really say that it's a bug. But it's a huge, it's probably working as intended, but the developers, even back then, didn't care about bugs. Look at this for example, just, just an example, just let that soak into your brain. Only factions which are left on this map is the Pope and the English. Pope has free influence. I am the English. The eight influence, and the max is nine. Uh, I think I am pretty influential. I think that the king of the English has a lot of fucking influence. Where's the, the ninth star? Like, I'm even surprised that I have this many because, like I said, the, influ the king's influence stat is inherent inherently bugged. This causes all sorts of problems. If you've watched me, or watched this campaign, see, saw constant loyalty drops out of nowhere. And look, look, this high loyalty, very high taxation in every province, loyalty 200%. Yes, no, this, I had 100% religious in yeah, all the time. And they were struggling with the loyalty. Because our king, most of this campaign, had like three influence, four influence. The first very obvious bug with this is it doesn't take into account the regions you conquered in the previous with the previous king. If King Stephen the Third here dies, his heir, one of these guys, will take command. King, and he will start with two influence. Doesn't matter if he have conquered the whole world or not. This is what causes the most problems, because when your king dies and you get a new king, the only thing you can do to increase your influence is conquer new regions. So you should always be conquering new regions. This does not 
fit very well with my playstyle. So I'm always sitting around the low influence king. This causes all sorts of problems. Most of the time, it's causing loyalty issues in your provinces. I can't even name all the bugs which are in here because I don't know them. This I know. This stat is very impactful and very problematic. It causes all sorts of problems in pain. Preferably you always want max influence, but for that you have to conquer several regions as the new king. Don't be idle. I want to be idle, I want to defend my provinces and not go on the offensive every turn. This kind of conflicts with my playstyle, but nonetheless, if you happen to play Medieval 1 yourself and are watching this, I'm warning you, this is very chaotic and problematic. The video I mentioned I did was to keep your king yeah, to keep your king always connected to your main empire. If you conquer new islands or want to conquer new islands, do not send in the king. Actually, the king should just sit in your home region with which the English in the Wessex and do nothing. Because you can conquer these new regions, you need to increase its influence with other generals. So I advise you to keep your king in your capital unless you have like an eight star king or something like that. If you have an eight star king, then by all means use him as a general. But in general, it is advised to keep him in your capital, nothing with him. Also concerning that if your king dies and you have no heirs, you can lose the campaign as well. Just keep him in your capital and do nothing with him. I kinda want to use him because it looks cool that this massive army is leading. It's led by the king himself, but just keeping him in your capital is good.